Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's reign, now and forever. Amen. Saying together, Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, oh, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms, to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, but then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. And the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord Lord Christ. Christ. Jesus began to speak in the synagogue in Nazareth. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, is this Joseph's son? He said to them, doubtless you will quote me this proverb, doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, do hear also in your hometown the things that you have heard you did in Capernaum. And he said, truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the, name, in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a severe famine over all the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them, except to the widow of Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray. Holy God, open our eyes to your presence, open our ears to your call, open our hearts to your love. Amen. Amen. So my answer to the question was earth, wind, and fire. Okay, that was obvious for me when I was asked what my favorite band was. And everyone who knows me can say that in about two seconds, because that is my go-to music when I am feeling low and I need some sunshine in my soul. And so I thought about this because when we're looking at where we sit with others, this is one of the questions that my husband and I explored together when we're looking at our love map. Now, this is a tool from John Gottman based on his research for getting to know each other better because we're always, always changing. So we need to sit with one another and share what's on our hearts and recognizing that it's an ongoing process. There is great joy from feeling known and understood, and that is true in all relationships a lifelong process on focusing on the love that is greater than we are as individuals. So focusing on that love matters most and choosing to show up in those hard places, focusing on that love gives us a greater understanding, a greater perspective of the world. And this is the love that we hear about in 1 Corinthians, the divine love that gives our life meaning and purpose. We hear that God is love, and this love that we find in community, that we seek to live into, love that is patient, love that is kind, 
love that is not jealous, and love that is never boastful or conceited. Love is not rude, nor does it take offense. And this is love for us to, that it can be very difficult to live into. And so this describes the signs of finding God's love out in the world. And so we need to have our own individual roadmaps, ways of perceiving and knowing what we're experiencing. And that is one of the great gifts of our faith traditions. For we hear that love does not take pleasure in other people's faults. And so can we see God that way? And that God's love is always, always ready to excuse, to trust and to hope and then to endure. That is the gift of the spirit that we find. This way of seeing God's love often runs contrary from what we experience and what we've learned in other places. And for many years, I could only hear that I was not enough. The brokenness of my family of origin was filled with pain and loss that colored everything. I, I couldn't imagine God's unconditional, abundant love didn't come with strings attached. And like many folks, my life has been about learning how to receive this love. And over the years, I've been blessed with God's grace and the people that I've learned from and what teachers there are in our faith tradition for, God, for finding God in my life in all these small places that speak to our roadmap, that help us focus on God being at the center of everything that we describe as our inner compass. Finding what helps me move in a good direction, move forward, what inspires me for seeing a larger perspective of God and how God is always reaching out to us. This love gives us more capacity to be in tough situations. And that is where we are now. And with that love, we have more ability to have connections with others. Focusing on those shadow places, those dark places in our story that need more healing, more love that only God can provide. And being more mindful of those places where we can get lost in ourselves, that we make everything about ourselves where we lose sight of God's love and the love that Jesus embodied, knowing that there are many other things that distract us, that pull us away from this divine love that our world is made of, and recognizing the nature of things and the ways our brains work, that our brains work and continually seek to hold on to the negative like tar with the positive slipping away like oil. And so learning how to train our brains for focusing and making choices that are more loving, that live into that larger perspective of grace. This means we learn how to choose wisely with this love guiding our heart centers. And that's what we hear in this passage ways of growing up, ways of maturing in our faith, finding the tools that we need for growing and becoming our best selves who God desires us to be in the world. And recognizing that we are all works in progress, God working in us. And we see that we are called to deliberately choose this path of love to greet each day with a willingness of being more consciously aware of God's love, for this looking and seeing of the spirit of love changes how we meet the day, how we interact with others. Love that is not always understood as an emotion, for it is a choice. And when we intentionally make that choice moment by moment, 
we live in that grace. And we begin to see life from a different perspective. And I would invite you to see that it more and more we see the world through God's eyes of love. This is a time for soul searching, for finding this love everywhere and acting upon it. For this is our life's work. And what glorious time to reflect on it during this season of Epiphany, where we're reminded that God works in surprising, unexpected ways. And I can tell you for me, I completely didn't expect to find a beautiful parish and to be part of this parish during this time. And so when we see that spirit of love, we say that holy yes, okay, Lord, here we go. Help me move forward. Help me embrace your love. And we find habits of faith that make a difference, that give us that persistence we need. And especially when life feels muddled, where we seem to find that it's hard to find our way. And for me, I can say an integral part of my roadmap are the tools and resources of Ignatian spirituality. The daily meditations help me enter that sacred space of knowing that, that God's love calls me. And this is where I am fully known and loved for who I am in that moment. And I find what my soul longs for. And the reflective questions help me to look deeper to not skim over the surface, because really that's where the rubber hits the road for us. What does this faith mean? What does this love matter in your life? And in those questions, invariably, my heart is steered to gratitude, to blessings, and saying, through it all, your love has provided. And with that intention, that way of showing up, we find more awareness to be awake, to walk with Christ, the life-giving ways that we discover this divine love matters most, the love that never ends and never fails. Amen. Please stand as we reaffirm our faith through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the new light that shines in our hearts, let us pray. We pray for us, your faithful people, and those who lead us, that we may walk in your love, the way of love, and manifest your love to the world. Shine your light on your church. And fill us with your glory. We pray for all nations of the world, that those in authority will work toward peace and equity for all their people. We pray especially for these global concerns for the people of Ukraine as tensions rise over the prospect of Russia's incursion. Shine your light on the nations. And fill us with your glory. We pray for our nation and the community in which we live. That that we be agents of healing and ever vigilant to justice and truth. Shine your light on this nation. And fill us with your glory. We pray for those who are suffering in ways that are known or hidden to us. We pray for those who struggle mightily in this life and those whose light is dimming. For those who are ill and those who care for them, we pray, we pray especially for parishioners, family, and friends. David, Jean, Deborah, Wendy Parkin, Sheila Gross, Bob Bledsoe, Pam Bledsoe, Deacon Tim Smith, and for those who you would name in your heart or aloud. Shine your light into the seasons and passages of our lives. And fill us with your glory. We pray for those who have been called into larger life with you, especially Thomas Pringle, Melissa Ridwin, Desmond Tutu, Martha Van Horn, Owen Griffith, Georgia, Johns Georgia Johnson May, Herman De Papa, Stephanie Watson, and those who you would name aloud or in your heart. Shine and fill up, shine your perpetual light upon them. And fill, and fill us with your glory. Holy God, lead us forward on our own journey following Christ, the morning star whose knows no setting, and filled with the flame of the Holy Spirit that we may be a holy people whose lives inspire and inflame the world with compassion and care. We offer our prayers with gratitude for your love and presence among us through the power of God made manifest. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Please stand.
The peace of Christ be always with you. Please greet each other in the name of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Oh, I have this. Okay. Pieces all pieces. Okay. What happened? Here, let me have.